News Talk Now, our guest is Peter Antonovich, local attorney. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Answering some people's questions, if you do have any, 793-WKTV. And uh, you're basically um, specializing in disability, right? My office handles only Social Security disability cases, supplemental security income cases, and workers' compensation. And I guess what determines whether somebody is disabled as far as getting uh, benefits goes? Well, for, for Social Security, you have to prove that you have a a medical condition that has interfered with your ability to work for at least 12 months or is expected to keep you from working for at least 12 months. And uh, does the government check in on you periodically uh, once uh, you're deemed? When you're approved for benefits, the, the government has a program where they review these cases every three to five years. So every three years, sometimes faster, if there's a cause for that, they will in, uh, gather the medical evidence and make a determination as to whether or not you continue to be disabled. And the attorneys that uh, represent these clients, how are they paid? I mean, where does the money come from? Well, anybody who represents a, a Social Security disability claimant um, only gets paid if there's money coming to them. In other words, if you win the case and there's past due benefits owed to the claimant, you get paid. If you lose the case, you don't get paid. And sometimes you even win a case, but there's no past due benefits and you don't get paid, but you, you help somebody. And uh, I, I've heard it often, people are wondering, what is SSI? SSI is, uh, it's called Supplemental Security Income. It is a program that was passed in the 1970s, late in the game. And it's for people who either, either their Social Security benefit is so low that the government believes they deserve a supplement, therefore mm -hmm. it's Supplemental Security Income, or they don't get any Social Security disability, they don't qualify it for, for some reason. And, and they're still disabled, they still can't work. The government says, well, we can't have you uh, not be able to pay your bills. So if you can prove you're disabled, we will pay you this supplemental security income. And it's pretty much a fixed rate, whereas social security disability is based upon what you've paid into the system. So it could be a low amount, it could be a high amount. SSI is pretty much $770 for everybody. And we do have a caller. Uh, Kelly, uh, what's your question for Peter today? Hello, um, my question is, my husband is deaf. And he chooses not to get the disability from Social Security right now, but when he retires, he wants to get Social Security disability and Social Security. I want to know if he's correct on that. <clears throat> well, you, th it's, it's a complicated question, um, more complicated than I can deal with now. Typically, when you hit full retirement age, which for depending on how old you are, because they, they changed it from 65 to 67. When you hit full retirement age, you can't collect disability anymore. However, uh, at age 62, you could collect your retirement, and if your disability rate is higher, you can collect disability as well. And then when you hit retirement age, it would all switch over to retirement. Does that answer your question? I think we lost her. Oh, okay. But we do have Carol on, on the line. Uh, Carol, what's your question today? Yes. Um, if you're on compensation, is there an age limit to that? Like if you do reach your full retirement, 67 or whatever. Are you talking, uh, about, are you talking about workers' compensation? Workers' compensation, yes. Well, it depends because the rules changed with workers' compensation about 10 years ago. Um, if you were awarded workers' compensation before that, you could collect that throughout your natural life. If you were awarded benefits after that, there's a time limit on how long you can collect it. And another question, uh, do workers' compensation benefits actually affect your Social Security disability benefits? They can. The Social Security Administration has a rule that says you can, you, your combined Social Security and workers' comp cannot exceed 80% of your average monthly earnings from when you were working. So if the two of them together exceed the 80%, they reduce the Social Security until you're at that 80% mark. Wow. Good calls today. Good questions. Uh, our time flies, doesn't it? It's over already? Yeah. Oh, great. I'll come back <laughs> You'll again. You'll come back again, that's for sure. Peter, thanks. Thank you. Yep. And I have a cold. Very you don't good. want it. I'm, I'm just being nice. That's fine. <laughs> and stay with us. We are back with more right after this.